What's up, YouTube? This is Drew from Not Too Nerdy. This is uh, part three of the uh, Skyrim Down Guard walkthrough. So uh, the game is just loading up. I'm playing as a vampire lord. So uh, I'm on my way. I have to return to Garen. Uh, I just got the chalice of vampire blood. So let's do a little quick travel. Heading back to the castle. So I've been playing both uh, the Down Guard and the Vampire Lord. Um, kind of like the Vampire Lord a little bit better. Uh, let me get back inside. Looks like my vampire blood is boiling. I have no idea where uh, Serena went. So uh, there's actually two games uh, that are coming out today that we'll be uh, playing for you guys. Uh, we got Hybrid. I'm going to try out the demo for that game. Unfortunately, there has been server issues all day, so I still haven't downloaded it yet. But look for it uh, coming up uh, later today. And also uh, the beta for uh, the closed beta for Raider Z. It's a new action-based terror-like uh, MMO that's going to be free to play from the perfect world. And uh, that uh, is launching today. The servers go out about uh, eight o'clock uh, EST. So uh, I'm playing that. I see you have returned. Lord Harkon will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume. Yeah, they try to kill Lord me. Harkon and I suspected they might follow you there. Well, of course they did. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Oh, how nice. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our lord, you have increased his power over them and at the same time deprived them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Oh man. Such good writing in this game. Unbelievable. Love Skyrim. Oh, there she is. Have you talked to him yet? I'm going, I'm going. Hello, Lord. Let me sit in the chair. You are here. Good. You want to speak with me? Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Of course you didn't. I suspected as much. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. So I've actually done this quest for uh, the Down Guard, so I kind of know where the story is going. So it's kind of that's kind of why I didn't play both for you guys because it's not that much different to be honest with you it's there's little differences there's differences enough to play it both times but as far as uh, casting it you know for you guys and sh capturing uh, a walkthrough doesn't Science really make much sense night. hear my words <coughs> the prophesied time is at last upon us Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself. 
and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a Moth Priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a Moth Priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a Moth Priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command! Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. I don't know exactly where to go. Do you have any I ideas? Before I, you know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Cool. All right, so let's go. I shall find you. Until then, I see no reason. All right, so let's go to the College of Winterhold. gonna it's 8 31 a.m let's let's wait a little bit Okay, so let's fast travel to College of Winterfold. Alright. see. Over here. And we're off. I love fast travel. I could endorse or paint a cave anywhere just to come to this. Last time I played this with the down guard, a freaking uh, dragon appeared when I, as soon as I got up here. Cool thing is I actually know what to do now. Th how do I know? What I tell you guys? I know my game. As soon as I got up here, dragons up here. There he is. Do do lo do lo 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 lo. Wait for the dragon soul. The good thing is I actually know what to do now because I, I played it with the other walker. Alright, let's go. Clairvoyance on. Yep. I gotta go visit that bookkeeper guy. Yep. Downstairs. I don't know what I do without this uh, skill, man. Every game should have it. 
Yep, there he is. What's up? Archmajor Need to find a moth priest. A moth priest? What in oblivion do you need a moth priest for? My business, my own. Just tell me what I need to know. Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priest make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Alright. Get the hell out of here. Nasty business with that Ancano fellow. Pity that I was unable to assist, but I was otherwise occupied. Fast travel to Imperial City. It's just saw a marker there somewhere. Okay, there it is. Dragon Bridge. Alright, and we're off the Dragon Bridge. I believe there's a stupid guard I have to pay when I get here. <laughs> Freaking 11 a.m. already. All right, good enough. See, here he comes. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Yeah, yeah, you, you asshole. Here. So stupid. That's the only problem you cause so much mischief in this game. As I do. I gotta go back. It's down here. I actually downloaded a mod so I can actually uh, summon a horse whenever I need to. I gotta check that out though. It's pretty cool. It's, it's just up ahead. Oops. So we got to read the note. And there it is. Where is it? The vampire note. Vampire note. The vampire note. The hell is it? There it is. All right. Ambush. Got to keep going. Let me get my uh, horse. Alright, so we gotta go rescue the moth priest. Not that far. I 
so then I just get off this freaking horse. I wish I could use clairvoyance while I'm on the damn horse. Okay, it's up ahead. I see it. Let me put skills on. Alright. I think I'm actually a lot more powerful in human form than as a vampire. But, we'll see. That's annoying things you get stuck. But let's... Let's be a vampire. Alright. Here we go. Never gets old. There's actually some pretty cool mods where you can uh, balance out the vampire lord, actually, but I didn't want to touch it. I think it's fine the way it is. So. The cool thing is, Leah can actually uh, summon. do one at a time I guess I would imagine as a perk you gotta level up for that that shit. Enough vamp. That's enough. Let's revert form. Enough vampire action. Right. These guys are actually powerful. So actually in this section you fight on. vampires now but You just fight the down guard. Alright. Got a 
grab this one over here. Over here. Alright, let me talk. Get the moth priest out of there. Okay, so I gotta turn to vampire. Gotta use the seduction. That's pretty cool. See, it's, it's, it's just different enough to be worth playing through. Oops. Vampire seduction. How do you do that? Is that a tree? Yeah. See, kill a person with power attack. I'll go down this route. Hmm. Kind of curious. Confused. I don't understand what I gotta do with this guy. Hmm. If you think I'll help you, you're mistaken. Use your vampire seduction power. How the hell do you use vampire seduction power? Try this again. Sleep in a coffin for one day. 
This is so retarded. I think you had to sleep in a coffin for one day, use that uh, seduction power, and then press A, I guess. Uh, it just, just doesn't make sense. This was a really stupid mechanic. Okay, so now you can feed on him. Alright. By the divines. <laughs> it's as if my eyes have been opened. Made blinded by the light of your majesty. I, Way too much stuff you have I to must do. Obey you. Good. What would you have of me, master? I command you to travel to a castle. Certainly. Where can I find this castle? Off the northern castle Skyrim, west of Solitude. I will set out at once then. All right, good. All right. So let's go to Harkin. Okay, so we got go all the way back. All right, you know what, YouTube? Uh, I'll save this for uh, the next walkthrough. You guys don't need to see me go all the way back and fast travel and all this stuff. So uh, stay tuned for uh, part four of uh, the walkthrough. Thanks for watching.